Hi folks, it's Wayne Popovic with Venture RV coming to you from our corporate center where today we're going to talk about the 210 VTB Sonic. This is a great little layout. It has uh, twin beds that are convertible to a huge king bed. So it's one of the most versatile and functional uh, RVs uh, layouts you're going to find. Uh, first, let's start on the outside and talk about the Sonics in general, how they're built. One piece fiberglass roof starts at the front, goes all the way over the top, and all the way down the back to the bumper. Great thing about that is you've eliminated uh, two big seams where water likes to try to get into. And also, this is fiberglass, it's not a rubber membrane. <clears throat> uh, the nice thing about that is you don't have to worry about backing into a low-hanging branch and ripping a, a hole in this. And if something does happen, repairability is uh, literally just a fiberglass patch. All right, You don't ever have to replace the entire roof. So that's a great advantage that you don't see on most uh, travel trailers. Okay, uh, Some of the features on the front, you notice down here there's a uh, battery cutoff switch. It's nice when you're storing it so it doesn't drain your battery over time. You just flip it off and it uh, protects your battery life. You have a power tongue jack uh, with that's lighted, has a hitch light on it. And then you have two 20 pound tanks with a easy access cover. All right. We'll go around to the side here, slam latch baggage doors and magnetic catches, which is key because the plastic catches that hook the spring loaded ones after two or three seasons in the sun, a lot of times they get brittle and break. This is a much better, much better solution. The pass through storage itself, you've got about 35 cubic feet of pass through storage, lots of room to take all your gear with you. And the light here is actually a motion detector light. So when you open the door, it senses the movement and it'll turn on. So you're never fumbling for a switch. Stabilizer jacks at all four corners. And you'll notice they are set at a 45 degree angle instead of uh, you know straight on one way or the other. The reason for that is it creates more stability. If the jacks are all lined the same way, they don't, they don't uh, and they move, they'll move together. When they're like this, they fight each other. So it creates a more stable foundation. We have automatic awning, electric awning with uh, automatic rain dump um, and LED light strips at the wall here. Um, has a automatic rain dump on it that if you get more than about 25 pounds of water on it, it'll dump the water and then go back up. So you never have to worry in the middle of the night if you didn't take your awning in and a storm kicks up. <clears throat> you notice we also have an outside TV hookup as well as a 110 outlet. Moving up the wall, you have uh, marine grade exterior speakers that's hooked up to a Bluetooth stereo on the inside, which you can actually stream your own playlist through. So it's very, it's very nice. Friction hinge doors. Instead of having a plastic catch, uh, or sometimes they were metal, in the wall, because I don't know about you, but every time I see a door half open, I have a tendency to grab it and close it. When that happens, the plastic ones break, and the metal ones will literally pull out of the wall. So this is a much better solution. It'll keep your door open wherever you leave it. And it's got the screenshot screen door closer built in, because what's the one thing that's constantly heard at every campground? Close the door. Right. To get into the 210 VTB, we've got the Trek steps uh, and these fold right up and out of the way. Easy storage, a latch opens them up. Very stable, no more twisting or uh, you know diving board type steps like you get on some and a grab handle to get in and out. And you have your handy dandy dog tie out uh, however, some people I think use that to open open bottles. I've heard that. <laughs> uh, lights all around the exterior are all LED. They are uh, energy efficient, long lasting. You move to the top here. You have a pre mount for a Furion backup camera. Uh, and uh, what's nice is these are actually observation cameras. So uh, when you're pulling a camper, the one mirror that goes away is your rear view mirror. You can leave that on while you're driving and it actually will act as a rear view mirror. Your city water connection is here. Your black tank flush is here. Uh, fantastic, best invention in camping, fantastic. Uh, no more dragging the hose through your trailer to clean out your black tank. 
uh, outside shower and the outside shower is hot and cold running water with a hose that comes out with a nozzle on the end you can turn the valve on and off for the water as you need it dedicated cable and satellite hookups if you're a satellite person and you take your dish with you you plug it in right here the reason we have a separate line is because the satellite signal doesn't like to go through the booster on the cable side and it scrambles the signal um, instead of having to rewire that little booster box or put jumpers on to go around it, we just give you a dedicated line. And it's pre-wired for uh, solar panel as well. If we move to this side, we got a six gallon gas and electric DSI water heater. What that means is with the gas and electric on, you're going to get about 16.2 gallons per hour recovery. So it's a quick recovery, five, six more minutes in the shower, seven more minutes in the shower and uh, you never have to light a pilot light. All right, before we go inside, I just wanna talk about two more things on the outside, which are the, the foundation, the tires, axles, and the frames, okay? Um, you got radial, steel belt of radial tires with super lube hubs and nitrogen fill. The great thing about the super lube is you never have to pull the bear, uh, sorry, you never have to pull the tire to pack the bearings. Um, also have never adjust brakes, they're automatic adjust brakes. So those are the two things that get overlooked a lot in maintenance and uh, we've made them as easy as possible. And the nitrogen fill tire makes it so that you're less likely to have a blowout and uh, you have better tread wear uh, on your tires. All right. Uh, we'll talk more about that in a separate video. <clears throat> and then I want to talk about the foundation, the, uh, the frame that this is on. It's actually the BAL Next Gen frame. It is an S channel instead of welded I-beam. It's powder coated and baked, it has superior corrosion protection compared to just painting or dipping a frame like most manufacturers do. Um, and it's held together with huck bolts, which are fasteners used in high vibration situations, five times stronger than a weld. And um, uh, they're not gonna, they, they use them to hold together airplanes and locomotives and huge construction equipment. And just to touch on the size and the weight of the uh, 210 VTB, it's a 21 foot box. Dry weight on it is a little under 4,200 pounds, 4,170. So easily towable by any uh, small or mid-sized SUV, uh, of course, half-ton trucks, anything that in that uh, segment.